Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to configure an end user in the CUCM and then associate that user with a 9971 phone. Now when you go into configure a user there are two places that you'll need to go. You'll need to go to user management and end user and you'll also need to go to device phone. And the best way to do this is to configure your user first, then go over and configure your phone, then go back to your user again. It's kind of difficult to explain why before we've configured anything. So let's go ahead and start by going to user management, then end user. Then we'll click add new. And this will take us to the end user configuration page. Now here we need to put in a user ID. You can put in whatever you want, but the standard convention is to do the first initial and then last name. So let's say P. Parker. And for password, we're just going to say Cisco, all lowercase. Then confirm password. And for basic configuration, we can skip over most of these fields. The required ones, of course, are those that have an asterisk next to them. So we'll need to give a last name. So we'll say Parker. And we'll go ahead and give a first name of Peter. Even though it's not technically required, we'll just go ahead and do it anyway. Now that's all we need to do for this top block here. So notice down here under device information, at this point, uh, this area is blank. And that's because we need to save it first. And now we can see the device association button and line appearance association button as well. Now the problem here is that uh, we can't actually associate any devices with the user until we create our phone first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to device, then phone, then add new. We're going to select 9971, then click next. We'll put in the MAC address. And for the description, uh, we'll say 9971 top, because that's where it's sitting in my lab. And uh, for device pool, we'll say RTP phone video. Then, of course, standard 9971 SIP for the phone button template. OK, now we'll scroll down to owner. And this is where we can select the user that we just created. So we'll select P. Parker. And so going back to the order of configuration that I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video, this is the reason why you should start with the end user first rather than the phone. Now, if we started with the phone, we'd have to choose anonymous here and then go back to the end user, configure it as we just did a minute ago. Uh, but we'd still have to come back to the phone because we'd have to change it from anonymous to P. Parker. And that would just be an extra step that we don't really need to take. So hopefully that makes sense. So either way, uh, next we'll need to come down to device security profile and we'll select standard SIP non-secure. And then under SIP profile, we'll select standard SIP profile. We'll click save, then OK. Now let's quickly add a line DN. Let's say uh, 1001. And click Save. Now from here we want to go back to User Management, then End User, and we'll click Find. We'll choose P. Parker. Then come down to Device Information and click the Device Association button. Then click Find. And we'll check the box for our phone, 9971 top. Then we'll come up and Save Selected Changes. Now we need to go back, so let's select Go in the Related Links. Then we're going to come down here to Primary Extension and select the line that we just associated with the phone. And then we want to save those settings and then we're all set. Now that's not going to make any changes to the appearance of your phone, but I want to take just a second to point out two really important reasons why we want to go through the trouble of associating end users with phones in the first place. And the first one has to do with licensing. 
Now, COOL Licensing, C-U-W-L, which stands for uh, Cisco Unified Workspace Licensing, this is based on a per-user license. So, for example, a single user can be licensed for one phone or up to four phones. So let's say uh, Peter Parker has a license for four phones. If I configure four phones for Peter Parker, but when I configure them here, I choose anonymous, I'm actually using up four licenses, one for each phone. However, if I choose Peter Parker as the user instead, I can still configure four phones, but I'm using only one license. Another reason that you want to create end users and associate them with phones is that it allows the user to go into the self-provisioning portal and change settings on their phone, which is important because it takes work off the administrators. The end user can go in and configure things like voicemail, uh, labels for different lines, their own speed dial settings, etc. If it's associated with anonymous, only an administrator can make those changes. So, so this way we can alleviate some of that burden. Okay, that's pretty much it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I have new videos coming out every week. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified whenever there's a new one available. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.